So I've seen many people online talk about how uh, they may have a burner, uh, let's say this one lights, and then it doesn't carry over to the other burners. Um, in my case, I have that exact problem. This is the, uh, the Spirit 2 uh, by Weber. And I noticed that this burner worked perfectly fine. And in fact, these are both functional, except um, there's, just, there's just no carryover of the, the fuel, the propane, from the left burner to the middle or to the right. And uh, the, the common culprit for that is the, the crossover tube, which is the, the tube that you will see here that connects all these together. And if you often have like a blocket or some grease on there, then you won't be able to, to open it. So a, a way to get around that is um, if you get like a, uh, an, an impact driver, you just need like a flathead to get these uh, screws off here. You'll, you'll see something like this. And um, make sure you turn off your, your gas and, and open these up so that uh, any kind of uh, gas that's in the pipe kind of gets purged out. And then you'll be able to, to lift this off like this. It'll be pretty easy to do that. And the, the crossover is actually not bolted to anything, so it just kind of hangs there. And then you can take that out and then clean it out manually. So here you can see that I have this soaking in kind of like a, a solution of uh, mostly hot water, uh, vinegar, and baking soda. And what I did is um, I poured the baking soda onto the dry tube itself first and tried to push it into these grooves here. You can see the one that's kind of sticking out of the water here. Um, I know that the block I have is between the first and the second burner. So that's the part that I have submerged and you can kind of see it's kind of still fizzling after 10 minutes of being soaked in here. Um, the goal being to break down anything that's in there. Uh, before I did put this in, I also took a pin and tried to open up as many of these holes here. So that way I could um, potentially dislodge something or the you know, problem would be solved. But looking down into the tube, I saw there was still something stuck to the edges. So I might as well go all out because I have it open already. Um, it's soaking in here. I'll let this soak for another 10 minutes or so uh, for a total of 20 minutes and what this will allow me to do is very simply again put this right back into uh, the grill. Uh, like I said this thing does not have any bolts so the, the crossover tube this is called can be easily put back, screw on the, uh, the other uh, nuts there um, or the, the screws rather and then you have um, that piece fixed. So that's something that I wanted to share because a lot of people are trying to sell just like just the option is just to replace it and that doesn't seem like a good option at all considering that this piece is something I can remove and I could potentially clean myself. So highly encourage you guys to do that and hopefully this was of some use.